Hello, and welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Today I'm going to be talking about Hawkeye. This is a Marvel Studios production on Disney. It is created by Jonathan Igla, starring Jeremy Renner, Haley Steinfeld. I think I got that right. And you have great actors in it. I'm going to say right off the bat, I really enjoyed this show. Getting that out of the way, I don't usually give a lot of plot reveals and spoilers unless we get into deeper discussions, but for all intents purposes, I got a kick out of the show and I love it. Now, going through Marvel's history and their TV shows and the Marvel Cinematic Universe, it can be pretty hard to wrap your head around certain storylines and uh you know the achievements they made good or bad and the way they plotted their stuff and hawkeye the series is perfect for that it does it well you don't need to know too much it gives you just enough and in a really good way I talk about this in i think um my eternals podcast that it meanders too much and it feels like the strong elements of the story aren't fitted right. Not that it was a bad movie and how it used flashbacks and things to put you in a certain time period and show their, I don't know, the Eternals friendship or, you know, love interest and that sort of thing and how it plotted through time. This one does a breathtaking moment, how to tie in things together it even brings in part of the Netflix family, which I'm so happy. I didn't give a spoiler about Spider-Man, the new one, but there's a Marvel Netflix character in there. I am elated with joy. Now, is it biased? Yes. Hawkeye's a... I don't know if he's a favorite of mine, but I love him in the comics, and I do appreciate seeing him done as a really good badass. Good actor, great chemistry between him and... Um, the other Hawkeye, Kate Bishop, Haley Steinfeld, and she is great for this role. I've noticed her in things here and there, and I think she almost won an award or was nominated for a True Grid, I think. But this is a perfect role for her. Now, I know you can go and look and find people maybe more comic book accurate looking we can do this with everybody wonder woman I mean, but some people just fit the role and this actress is great her and jeremy renner are amazing together this show has really basic dumbed down villains for the most part but it's really not about that and it shows in the dialogue the writing uh, there's not much to even nitpick in this show I liked its themes, I liked its jokes, its banter, it's when it got serious, when, you know, certain things are revealed, a uh, certain twist, it was done really well, and you put it together, Marvel's hitting it out of the park, I mean, you took a chance with the WandaVision, granted, you might have people who will never watch it past episode 3, they don't know what the fuck's going on, It's a, but when you look at it as a whole and you're a fan, maybe that's a lot, you know, factoring in on my, you know, reviews of these things. But Hawkeye is a fun thrill ride that does all the things you're supposed to do well in a buddy type cop movie or a sidekick hero, superhero movie now. Um, it just really resonates with me. The And the differences are in my head the whole time. I mean, just like any of the other things they talk about. And my bias would be for DC also. I mean, my favorite character might be a DC character. Nightwing, Dick Grayson, and I try to be open-minded and even talk about certain things about my life and what's going on and how it impacts, you know, when you wake up and when you watch something and what's weighing on your mind. These movies and these TV shows are supposed to be escapes, and this is a great one. Totally recommend Hawkeye. I don't even know if I like Jeremy Renner in a lot of things. I think he was okay in certain things. Love him as Hawkeye. 
And in here, it looks like he really cares. He, like, not that he phones it in. He just has that demeanor uh, in his persona. But it is spot on in this show. And again, give credit to Haley Steinfeld. I've seen her in so many things, but she never really sticks in and really um, becomes part of my memory as someone you remember. She will now. This is perfect for her acting style, her personality, or she's the greatest actress ever. Now, there were little things that nitpicked me would probably be the Echo storyline. Now, it's not, I don't know if it's technically Echo, and I'm not sure, but I think there's been revealed that there's going to be an Echo spinoff. So, I think it's. Go anyway, it's a deaf character who gets involved in certain things, and it's a comic book character. And I felt it was a little, I don't know, I didn't, I don't know. It was one of the things that it didn't bother me, it didn't um, ruin anything, it doesn't, you know, lower the standard or the quality of the show. It's one of those things that just doesn't fit with me. And it just doesn't work. But like I said, the villains, the shenanigans that they go through, the um, things that are superhero-ish aren't really a main focus. It's this connection, it's this friendship, it's family, it's issues with your past and the things you've done. Um... And it really is done with so much humor, good-hearted adventure, that it's hard to even focus on a nitpick. I mean, because these action sequences, even with Echo, they're all, <clears throat> they're all pretty good. They're top-notch. They've got really good momentum and settings to them. Maybe there's a... um lull here and there for certain people i could see that but again i i'm such a fan of what they did in the connecting the growth of the characters that i was totally buying it i don't care if i'm watching this chick and the dog uh, or you know some <laughs> really bad uh minions or villains uh dressed up in puma suits or whatever the hell they were in it was hilarious it worked for me, on um, almost every level, like I said, except for a nitpick here and there, and how they piece it in, you know, is is really well done, and you should get credit for that too. Um, I don't know who you figure in on these things. Like, is it a Kevin Feige type person? But you've got these TV shows that aren't necessarily for everybody. Like I said, with WandaVision, it could lose you. You don't know what's really going on. I think everybody can relate to Winter Soldier. Uh, Captain America or Falcon and Winter Soldier and Loki was a hit and miss here and there um, but I think it continues the quality and the standard that Marvel's going for You not every one of their movies is the best of the best but you do enough really good movies some great outstanding movies you stick to your commitment of its own continuity and it works and it resonates with almost everything Marvel's doing now. Watching the TV show, the cartoon or the animated show, what if you've got multiverse stuff and they go crazy with it. I've done reviews on that too in certain episodes I don't even like technically. But the things they're achieving, the little um things that elevate the franchises and the products are really good and a lot I don't even agree with. I might have mentioned this in some of my reviews with like um, the Guardians of the Galaxy. I don't want that group. I want the original Guardians of the Galaxy. Vans Astro, um, Charlie 27, you know, even Talon and Starhawk. And I wanted that. But the movie's so much fun and it's done so well. I just appreciate it and it's someone's story it's someone's impression or because there is an iteration with that group sort of 
But you've got Hawkeye. You've got him, you know, pitter pattering throughout the movies in the beginning. Not major presence. You give him a lot of credit through these movies. He's focused on here and there. And it's great that it still resonates here. Because the stuff that was focused on on Hawkeye, Jeremy Renner, in the movies with him and Natalie or Natasha, Black Widow, relationship on how they started off. And it's not a real major spoiler, but even in the movie it's hinted that Clint Barton was sent to kill Black Widow. But it's explained in the show how it changed him and he had a you know epiphany or insight that she wanted out and she was going to be worth it. So, there's so much humor because to remember, Jeremy Renner's character is technically a killer in a way. A lot of the S.H.I.E.L.D. stuff that he was probably involved with in this continuity of the Marvel Cinematic Universe probably has a shady pass on things he had to do. And I think it's a great callback. It's awesome character development or revelations and just getting to know who he is and how they sort of inserted the family in the movies and stuff. But here, it really sets a tone and it has a framework and a, a backbone that really holds it up because they're kind of really good. Even when you see things with his kids or his wife who's on a telephone call and it's like, oh shit, I'm not going to make it again. It's going to be another day. They, they, they do it well. So well that the stuff that's great, it just becomes a series that I will watch again. I'm looking forward to continuations of the storyline. They took some Black Widow elements, and we'll see what happens with these movies, because now that Spider-Man's over and Doctor Strange was in there, we know Doctor Strange's movie is going to have a multiverse type thing. So I wouldn't even be surprised if there's a, a bigger connection in the future with Black Widow coming back, or Hawkeye's quest to maybe go get her or save her, and I don't know if they're really focusing on part twos of these series. Like, what would they, you know, attach to it? Because when you look at it set up this way, WandaVision is going to lead into the Doctor Strange movie, right? We've seen Scarlet Witch in the thing, and uh, I think one of the scenes in the trailer is him going to her and she's like look what happened and then and she's talking about the tv show he's like, look i'm not here for that that type of thing like will they fold it in with jeremy renner would you do a you know uh hawkeye series two and keep him in that loop he's so good in it but then again all the others are so good seeing loki um falcon and winter soldier and they're really good in the roles, and because the movies have been out for so long, the characters have stuck with it. It's working for me. So, in summing this up somewhat with my rambling, I'm really loving most of the stuff that's coming out. You can go look at, listen to my podcast. I'm sort of, you know, I'm honest and like how the Eternals just doesn't work for me as a whole and a big thing. So, but I do see a quality that Marvel does hold up to and I don't see real trashing of the show I can't see a uh, it might be a eye rolling you know this isn't for me type thing but I totally recommend Hawkeye Disney Marvel Studios you're doing it well I'm you know I, I'm excited I was interested the storyline getting the other characters in I'm really into watching these ne I was always talking with my friend who you know, we get together with these things. We used to watch them and do podcasts, little trailer things. I was so in love with the Netflix series, all of them basically. Although I do make that distinction between liking something and objectively it's not that good. I wanted to see it meshed in and I know there's contract stuff I have no idea about and you know, um, Netflix holding people to whatever, I don't know, make something up. Seven-year contracts, and you can't get out of it. And it's starting to maybe free up. I mean, you could see Luke Cage in an Avengers movie. Like, I could see that potential is there now, and it was missing before. Now, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and shows like that did do the crossovers. 
Um, all the Netflix shows always mentioned what was going on in the movies to an extent. So it was never that. It was always, why aren't these people showing up? You know, why aren't we getting um, a Luke Cage in, in, uh, in one of the Avengers movies in, a, in an ending scene? Or when Thanos is attacking, that was one of my ideas. I was like, if Thanos is attacking, why not choke little cutscenes before they turn to dust of Jessica Jones and Luke Cage? In any case, it's starting to seem like it's coming together now again. Or again, but in a proper way that they tried to do before that they maybe couldn't. I remember again talking to my friend. We were, it was something. Uh, I think it was uh, Downey Jr. talking about Iron Man. He's like, I don't know why I'm not on Agents of Shield yet, but it does have to do with movie and there's some things I read. Maybe it's true or not about at the time the divisions were at odds with each other. Like Kevin Feige, he was movie and blah 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 it was tv and it was you know i don't know anyway now at least it seems that these merging of the cinematic universe the netflix universe and now with the disney however you want to call it marvel cinematic universe tv universe it's actually great i am thrilled so happy it's one of the things i really love about the WB shows how crazy they'll get with um, playing with things and then have a continuity within the shows and multiverse stuff and for me this is kind of like that all these things uh, signs of you know love and commitment to fans and and again I don't agree with a lot of this stuff I am a comic book nerd collected comics up to like 2012 and there are things that bother me and like if you're gonna do a bed just you know i don't know but not to bring it down the show is fun entertaining good for everyone uh, i i could see kids adults just really getting into it the level of acting and everything is just so well done even the corny st silly stuff just works in the end so I totally recommend the show. Give all the shows a, a shot. I think they're all at least a good enough quality that you'll find something that resonates with you. And if you're a big fan of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, you probably don't need my recommendation. But there is a lot of elements throughout the Marvel Universe that started, and Hawkeye was a little minor character. And it's good to see them commit to some of these characters to give them focus. I still get such good thoughts, you know, every once in a while when I think about uh, the shows I've watched and Falcon and the Winter Soldier, such a character development. It's a little more serious and action-packed, but they're consistent. And I think that's what matters. So give it a shot. Hawkeye. Disney Plus, I guess. Marvel Studios. Watch it. Hope everybody does well, is doing well. Stay healthy. My best to you and yours.